All right, test one, two, three, four, testing, testing, testing. Here we go. Let's let's do this. Uh, let's uh, do Gordon Ramsay, the loser. Uh, here we go. Oh, here we go. All right, guys. Guys, what I'm doing right here, I'm just going to replay the videos that are on the uh, that were on the other channel. I'm just going to replay them um, once. Um, I'm going to, and so you can at least see them. And then the next video that I do tonight, I'm going to do the stuff that they will not allow on YouTube. They won't allow this. It's what got kicked, me kicked off that I showed everybody that Raptor Messenger RNA MTOR, RPTOR, Raptor. It's called the Raptor gene. Do you know the Bible says uh, anyone who uh, who comes up another way, John 10, he who enters the sheepfold another way from some other way is the uh, same as a robber and a thief. The word thief is plunderer, raptor. It means a rapist, a plunderer, and a thief. It's raptor, raptor. I'm going to show it to you right out of the dictionary. It's unbelievable. And the... Uh, the raptor gene, and wait till you see the symbology. All right, here we go. Which one's going in the oven first? You. Mmm. Oven time. I going to eat you. Mmm. Yummy, yum, 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 yum. Yummy, yum, 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 yum. Which one's going in the oven first? You. Mmm. Oven time. Okay, I'm gonna leave that now. That's Gordon Ramsay at the at the uh, Birmingham Games. Uh, let me show you a quick article. Y'all should go read it yourself. It's in the show notes. But let me show you this. Okay, I want to show you what the meaning of the number 72 in the Bible is. It means a carrying away, leading, and guiding as a way of life conduct. So a carrying away, a leading away. Okay, and then here is the summoning, the summoning, look at the word, the summoning. 72 nations publicly worship satanic idols and televised Luciferian ritual while celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay creepily stalks frightened lambs. By the way, there were 11 lambs in that, that group and 11 is the hindecogram representing the host body that the sheep got trapped in so the reptilian race could eat us. End of story. Proven over and over. That's why they have 11 sheep. Here it is. Here is the big bull that they rolled out. I'm going to let you watch the video. Uh, I noticed on the one that I'm loading up on YouTube, that computer. Now that computer, it's, it goes from one computer, next computer. It's all, I'm always under attack and I'm always switching computers. So I have maybe five different computers to shuffle. I'll do whatever I got to do. Okay, here we go. Let me show you this video. Okay, like I said, I'm going to let you all see this because this is what I showed you all on, on YouTube. But then I, I saw what they did to the audio. So they jacked with the audio again. And I'm going to have, I'm going to start uninstalling, reinstalling, using different audio devices, whatever I've got to do, using different computers. But I'm going to let you guys see uh, the Birmingham opening ceremony. Now listen very carefully. There's two guys that are commenting while the people are talking, like the BBC, the people that are actually speaking about what's going on on the, on the field. Um, but the two guys, the Brits that are commenting, they're hysterical. I mean, they're really good. But listen to the background of the BBC commentators and the nonsense, the insanity. These people have lost their minds. Their minds have become darkened and they literally worship the beast and they're fawning over this thing. It's insane. It's just, it's so sad. It's pathetic. Here we go. But watch this. Here we go. Ready?
dark side to the industrial revolution oh of course there was a dark side, side to the industrial revolution that probably explains why these people are making out like they're in a horror movie and sort of like they're being tortured on their face or something they're supposed to represent the commonwealth games is any of you looking at this thinking oh, i fancy a game of table tennis oh yeah this is so like rounders or golf or something no it's weird it's a horror movie again Look at them all in ch Oh, here comes a guy in a no. Baphomet headdress dressed in red. Oh, oh, and the satanic bull beast from Revelations coming in. Oh, oh no. Oh, where's Jenny Lemon gone? Surely she wants to get involved. Can't she ride on it like the Scarlet Whore of Babylon? Oh, my gosh. Alexander Stadium. A beast. A bull. Ten meters high. I actually believe that she actually called it a beast. It's actually got weird blaspheming god writing on it as well. It's it's not enough that they've got the beast from Revelation coming in here. She had to actually call it a beast and then go, or a bull. Like, so it is a beast. These people are insane, folks. Now scarred by past hurt and enraged by injustice, the bull breaks free and causes pandemonium. And in a parallel act of emancipation, the women break their own chains. I honestly don't know how these shill commentators the manage to keep a straight face century, as they try and explain to you how this has got anything to do with the Commonwealth Games. The <laughs> the oh, the giant the satanic ball from Revelation is coming in here now, and the and the crowds are fleeing as it grows red like Satan himself. And and this is so 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 indicative of the high jump, folks. This really is just all about the Commonwealth Games, as the people and the actors run scared from a giant red satanic beast of revelation. This isn't a satanic ritual, folks. This is all about hopscotch. The beast that thou sawest was and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit, and go into perdition. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world, when they behold the beast that was, and is not, and yet is. Jenny Lemon, she's escaped in her balloon. Bless this and guy, he's still trying to pretend Stella like Jenny Lemon's normal. Try and halt the bull. The dreamers have stayed. And they're about to offer compassion to a very scared icon of this city. Oh yeah, icon of the city. Oh yeah, you even call it an icon. Oh, now they're going to sit there and take a shard of fallen angel. And they're literally, folks, they are literally going to worship the beast from the book of Revelation. They're going to bow down to the beast and they're going to make friends with the beast. And it's all going to be great. And all for... Do you have any idea how satanic this is what you're watching, folks? Do you have any idea? Everyone involved with this, everyone involved with this is screwed spiritually this is absolutely horrendous folks this is she literally called it the beast she called it the beast and they're trying to normalize this lady holding a shard of a fallen star up to the beast from the book of revelation with satanic scribblings all over it words of blaspheme god as it glows hot red folks they are literally trying to normalize satanic rituals right in front of your face how can you be in the audience and not see this how can you not see this Certainly one of the most striking images of the show so far. Oh, go to hell, Hazel. Honestly, what is wrong with you? She's still fawning over this. Oh, what a beautiful satanic beast of revelation. This, this truly is fantastic. I, I absolutely love the BBC. It, it's so fun to work here. Andrew, it's such a shame we couldn't get a live human sacrifice for the beast, isn't it? That would have been truly great. Is Mohammed al Fafar available to come out and do that with a halal knife? single action. We can see that we're all worth it. It's pretty funny. Whoever we are, and whatever our circumstances may be. This guy is next level chill. She just came out and worshipped the beast from the Book of Revelation, and this guy's like, Well, yes, I think now we can all see that we're worthy of love from this. Oh, yes, Andrew. Oh, yes. Nothing says that we're worthy of love like a giant, satanic, red, glowing bull with blasphemies over its face stomping through an arena as everyone bows down and worships it. Oh yeah, this is such a message of love. At the dance of discordance, the forum. Yeah, they literally got a lady oh, riding the scarlet beast. They got a scarlet lady, the whore of Babylon, riding the beast in the Book of Revelation. They got now. And everything's glowing red around the stadium, folks. What, this is some serious evil here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm but taking the, the Mickey out of this thing, but you must understand, these people are lunatics, again. And, and they would take the whole world to hell if you let them. People that don't think this is real, this is very real. 
This is so easy to take the piss out of because this isn't the opening ceremony, folks, to the Commonwealth Games. Okay? They are worshipping Satan in front of you. It, how much more obvious do you want them to make it? They could write Satan in glowing letters on the side of this beast and it wouldn't be any that much more obvious. And Hazel would still be like, ah, oh, Satan, uh, uh, it's the Birmingham word for fishmongers. Ah, yes. Weeping blood from the eyes of a giant satanic iron bull as people raise fallen star crystals over their head in a strange ritual. Look at the people in the crowd. The people in the crowd are just like, huh? <laughs> I came here because I like uh, high jump. You know? Oh my god. <laughs> Hazel, what do you got for this one? <laughs> Thought that was Jenny Lemon coming back. Bro, just buy a subscription to JennyLemon.com, would you? Okay, stop, stop bothering everyone else. And they lift Man, away the these BBC armor, commentators, the of his I would not like areas. to see their hard drives. I'm gonna, they said they're lifting a, off the bull's headdress, the symbol of his enslavement. That if you were listening closely, you could hear them saying, now the chains of the women and the beast have been broken. What did I show you? All the female symbology. That's what all this has been about. Twin female. The whole earth was enslaved. Twin female energy. Twin female serpent parthenogenesis. Told you. Here it is. Look at this. Look at this. Liz, you, you should go back and so y'all should go find this on YouTube. The opening ceremony and listen to just the commentators listen to the words they're saying they're literally saying the beast is now being unleashed and taken the chains he's like coming out of the pit the lord showed me the other day in a communication between myself and the lord with that eye in the sky he knew he knew exactly what to show me and that day that i showed you guys the eye in the sky and the same eye on the letter o from one world freedom tower the same uh eye opening up on the dragon from game of thrones the lord has a way of showing me that i know for sure i know for sure the eye of the dragon is open and it's it's about the dragon is given to give his power unto the beast the beast is the whole human the whole host body system that they designed. It's crazy. It's a full insane. And he will be revealed as an iconic symbol of light. He will be revealed. Just okay, that's very important what that commentator just said. They're lifting off off the you know the, the head plate that they to symbolize him being set free of his enslavement in the pit. Do you get it? And he she literally just said these words. And he will be revealed as an iconic symbol of light. Wow. As an iconic symbol of light. Ladies and gentlemen, any these BBC commentators, and I would not like to see their hard drives. That's all I'm saying. And he will be revealed as an iconic symbol of light. He will be revealed as an iconic symbol of light. Ladies and gentlemen, anyone with any sort of biblical understanding or understanding of the spiritual world knows that they are referring to Lucifer, ladies and gentlemen. This is worship of fallen angels going on right in front of your face. You might not believe so in the together, devil, but trust me, they do at the BBC. They will okay? The this is basically a trailer for him coming into the world. People that don't think we're living near the end times, have you seen what I'm seeing? Of light and love. Bro, this Andrew guy is trying to convince you that a giant red satanic bull bleeding from the eyes is a symbol of love. On like, on a, on, on a level. This guy's tapped, bro. 
the now free and at peace bull of Birmingham really is the symbol for this Commonwealth Games. Oh yeah, the at free satanic bull is it's absolutely the symbol of the Commonwealth Games, Andrew. Yeah, you absolutely nailed it. Yeah, yeah, you're not reading from a script. No, no, you're just you're just shooting from the hip. Sure. He will, by the way, have a permanent place in the center of Birmingham when these games end. And he will become the symbol of this theatrical and inspiring open ceremony and these games. You notice how they're referring to this bull as he? They're referring to this beast as an entity of its own. They're like, he will become the symbol that we will fall down and worship these people, man. And it's all as an angel of light. Satan will come reveal himself to you as an angel of light. Look at this. This bull. Okay, now uh, I want to show you the the most important thing about understanding this whole ceremony. It's it's very important that you understand this. I showed it to you on the other platform, but for anyone that didn't get to see it, let me show you what the most important thing is. When Prince Charles pulls up, by the way, Prince Charles, uh, Prince Charles. He is a, a descendant of Vladimir Chepish. Vlad, that's Vlad Dracul. That's where Dracula comes from. And he uh, he actually bought and lives in Vlad Tepish's castle. So Prince Charles lives in Vlad Dracula's castle. Try and wrap your brain around that. Now let me, and don't, worry, don't forget, they just said this was a representation of the beast having his chains taken off. So he's coming out. What's he coming out of? The pit. No, no doubt about it. So now let me show you what the most important thing is to have seen. When they open the games, here comes Prince Charles. There he is. He's in this Jaguar EBY, EBY 776J. Let me show you what that is in serpent language. In serpent language, the EBY, E is the fifth letter of the alphabet, B is the second, Y is the 25th. It means to begin, to be ready at hand, to be, I begin, I am, I exist, I am in possession of. It pro means properly, already have, be in possession of what exists, what pre-exists, already under one's possession. The next uh, numbers on the license plate are 776, the earth and land, common countries, countries and their lands, the earth. The next uh, thing was the letter J, which is Abado, like from Abaddon, destruction, place of destruction. So let's read it all together. E-B-Y, I am in possession of, uh, in possession of what what exists, especially what pre-exists in my possession, the earth and the lands, Abaddon, destruction, place of destruction, angel of the bottomless pit. I told you right there. Right in front of you, they right in front of you, the angel of the bottomless pit got his puppet Prince Charles to get in there. They put that license plate on there for a reason to for the angel of the bottomless pit to say, I'm out of the pit. I mean, he's showing him coming out of the pit in the form of that big bull and everybody getting down and worshiping him, holding these, uh, you know, these lights that are broken pieces of fallen stars, fallen angels, which is us. <laughs> I told you. Uh huh. This is a big deal. This is a real big deal. I'm going to load this up right now on the other platforms. I'm going to load this up. Maybe I'll see if this will load up. You know what? Uh, I'm going to load this one up. Uh, I think I'm going to load this one up on, on YouTube. Yeah, I think I'm going to load it up on YouTube as well. And then you guys go to the other platform. I'll put a link in it to watch the stuff that you have to see. It's all about Raptors. It's all about stuff we can't talk about here. 